test one, test one, test two, bars are good, testing, testing, testing. Good morning. Today we're going to practice for the certification test. We're going to use the storyboard file that I already have up to practice the skills that you need to know to be successful on the PowerPoint 2010 certification exam. Um, according to your papers, we're reading the papers. We have about 50 skills that we are going to cover. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Number one, under the Managing the PowerPoint Environment, says to switch to the slide sorter view. There are several ways to switch to the slide sorter view. You can go to the View tab and go to the slide sorter view, or you could use this button here at your status bar and go to the slide sort of view. I want to be able to see my slides a little bit more so I'm going to click fit to current slide window. Now I can see my slides a little bit bigger. Number two says move slide eight which is the chart in front of slide seven which is the dump truck. Chart, select it and you're going to drag it. When you see that black line that means that's where the slide is going to drop when you let the slide go and that step is complete. Number three, open the presentation in a new window and display both on screen. We want this presentation notice before we do that the title storyboard PowerPoint cumulative review. We've got one of them open we want to open up a new one so also in the view tab in the window grouping click new window now we have two versions of the same PowerPoint open and you can tell because of the colon and the number two and the instructions wants us to display them both on the screen so go to view tab and click arrange all and now you have both presentations this is the original indicated by one this is the copy indicated by two Number four says close one window and maximize the remaining window. Because we have not made any hardcore changes, um, you can close either one. I prefer to close the second one since that's the duplicate. So we close the second one and then maximize the first one. And now we have no extra copies. We're back to the original screen. Number five says add the copy button to the quick access toolbar. Now my quick access toolbar already has the copy button located and it's also located under the bar. Now if we want to make changes and customize the quick access toolbar we can uncheck any of these things and it will automatically take it off of the quick access toolbar. Uh, if there are other commands you want to add you just simply click more commands let's say I use insert hyperlink a lot I can click insert hyperlink click add and now that's going to show up on my quick access toolbar I've already showed my quick access toolbar below the ribbon but if I want to put it back I go down and click show above the ribbon and that's what your screen should look like and to get it below you click on the down arrow and you click show below the ribbon Number seven says add the word yippee to the custom dictionary. And the yippee is actually on slide five. And mine is misspelled, so I'm going to spell it correctly and then highlight it. Um, there's a couple of different ways to add to the dictionary. The easiest way is to right click, but this word is already added to my dictionary, so you don't see the add to the dictionary option on mine. If yours looks like mine, then go to File, Options, to the Backstage View. Under the Proofing tab, you've got the tab or the button for Custom Dictionaries. Edit Word List, and this is where you add words. So I could add, let's say if I want to add Yipe, or um, sometimes it is hard to display last names. So you can add any word that you want to add it customly to the dictionary. You can see where I've added my name and some other words that the computer was picking up as incorrect. Click OK. Click OK. And click OK. And now it's added to the dictionary. 
Number eight says set auto recover or to save to every five minutes. By default, your computer will uh, automatically save your presentations. If you want to alter how often it saves without you having to click the save button, you can do this by going to the backstage view, go to the PowerPoint options under save under save presentations where it's clicked save auto recover information mine is by default 10 minutes we're going to change that to 5 and click OK and that takes us through the first section managing the PowerPoint environment the second section we're going to look at is creating a slide presentation number 9 says move the, to slide 9 so I'm just going to go down, move to slide 9, insert a photo album, use four pictures located in the sample pictures folder. Now my computer looks a little bit different. Uh, you will have sample pictures. I'm going to try to pull the sample pictures. I'm going to go insert, ribbon, under the images grouping, photo album, new photo album. Insert picture from file or disk as you can see I don't have let me go and see if I can find sample pictures no nope, I don't have a lot of sample I don't have any sample pictures so I'm just going to pull um, just some just pictures that I happen to already have let me see I'll use these four And these were just some I had on my computer. And number 10 says arrange the pictures in the following order. If you have the sample pictures, you can arrange it in the order of winter, blue hills, water lily, and sunset. Um, but because I had to pick random pictures, I can't do that. Just make sure you have them in some sort of order. It says put two pictures per slide with a simple white frame and include captions below each picture. So I'm going to include my captions if it's possible. And I got to do two per slide, two pictures under picture layout. Now I can add my captions under frame shape. It tells us simple white frame, simple frame white. And with um, if there are any pictures that I chose, like this one, if I wanted to brighten it up, I could do so right here before I even finish my photo album. Now click create and there is my photo album. Include my pictures with captions. Number 11 says rotate the water lilies picture 90 degrees. Create your photo album. Save as sample photo album under your directory. Close this file and return to the storyboard file. Okay, because this is kind of a long video, um, what we're going to do is I want you to right click in the slides pane, go to photo album so we can edit the photo album because we want to take one of these pictures and we want to rotate it 90 degrees and you do so right here and you can pick any picture that you want I know in the instructions it said very very specific the water lilies but I want you to know how to do the skill so update that so one of your pictures should be 90 degrees save it as it says but go ahead and just save it on your desktop so that we we can find it sample I like to put underscores and then put your initials so you know that that's yours and save it and we're gonna close it now we're going back to our original storyboard PowerPoint and we are at number 12 Number 12, adjust the page size to the custom size of 10 inches wide by 8 inches high. Landscape orientation. So to adjust that, we're going to the design tab under page setup. The width is already set at 10. We're just going to change this to 8. And we want landscape. 
because um, the slides are already default landscape we're just going to change the notes and handouts to landscape as well and then click OK. 13 duplicate slide 8 move down to the last slide so slide 8 and click on slide 8 and right click on it and we're going to duplicate it so now we have two slides 8 and now move down to the last slide reuse the sample photo album slides you created in number 11 so this is where the photo album that we created comes in note go to home tab under new slide this just gives you the instructions on how to do that to reuse slides from a different presentation go to insert I'm sorry not insert home under the slides grouping the down arrow and go to reuse slides the reuse slides pane comes up and you browse the files and I told you to save it on your desktop so make it easier to find and there we go sample photo album and then open it and you're going to insert each one of the slides by simply clicking on it and as you click on the slide you can see it being added to your presentation these are the three so once we're done we're going to close out of that pane. Number 15, add a section above slide 11. This should be the photo album slide. Name the section sample photo album. Okay, to do the section, let's go to slide sort of view. And we want in the slides grouping under section, click add section and now we've divided our PowerPoint in sections and we want to name that section oh, I clicked too many times there we go I'll name that section rename section photo album okay 16 change the theme of the entire presentation to angles so design and angles should be in alphabetical order there we go and now everything's angles format the background of slide 1 I mean slide 11 to the water droplets texture so go slide 11 and we're going to change the background so we're going to go in the background grouping under background styles and we're going to format the background and because it is a texture type of feel I'm going to go to the water droplets and we're only going to apply it to this that one so we don't click apply to all just click close and it's just to that one slide 18 insert a footer with your name and the slide number to appear on all the slides except the title slide so now we're going to insert I'm going to do a footer with the slide number and a footer with your name and actually put your name and we don't want it to show on the title slide and we're going to do that to all the slides so now we have to click apply to all you can see all of the slides have that information number 19 move to slide 4 to animate add a custom bullet to the line the text lines make bullet size 95 percent of the text um, I have to stop here um, we're gonna pick up on step 19 on part 2 of this video